All right, I've just gotten in my King Art watercolor gel crayons from Amazon, and I am super excited to take a look. Well, first off, I happen to order them with two books of The Last Kingdom, which is another book series I am really excited for. But these are the King Art Arcs Mixed Media Gel Sticks, and there's 24 colors. I love this because you get a big range of colors to work with. I'm sure anyone who works with watercolors or pastels knows that while you can try to mix together colors, it was really so useful to have like just the orange you want or just the purple you want without having to fight for it. So let's get this open. These colors that are in this set are the types of colors that I love to work with. We all have different kinds of preferences of the colors that we enjoy. But for me, all right, so we got this box and then we got the two sets of colors. So people who have not worked with these kinds of gel sticks before, you can think of them sort of as crayons and markers, but they are way, way better than that. So here, let's just open up one of these sets. I'll put this over here so you can see it. And then open up this set. So you get two separate cases. Here, I'll figure this out. <laughs> All right. So those are the different colors. Each one is uh, labeled on the case with the type of color that is, so you can glance at it and easily know what you are working with. I've got a piece of watercolor paper here. So let's take this one, pull off its cap, so it twists open and shut. And then to draw, it's just like a current, oh, but that is just so smooth and buttery. It is a very smooth feeling. And you can see I'm using very textured watercolor paper here. And you can see how it does this beautiful effect where it hits the tops of the ripples, but it doesn't go into the bottoms of the ripples. So you get this nice texture effect. And if you used a different kind of watercolor paper or flat paper, you know, it would just smoothly coat. Uh, let's see if I got something around. All right, so this is a regular back of a note card that I just happened to grab off my desk. And that does a smooth coating because it's a smooth piece of paper and it's just going to do a smooth layer on it. But I tend to really like texture. And this kind of texture stuff where you're working on a watercolor paper that has texture to it just makes me so happy. So here we've got a gentle purple color. And look at that. It just glides so smoothly. So there's the texture of it moving across the paper, there's the texture of the paper creating these little ripples in it, and then you can blend them together because this is such a smooth substance that you're working with, that they will sit there and blend in the colors. And then you can work with water and pen and ink and all sorts of other things along with this. You know, I'm sure as an artist you can imagine all the myriad of uses that you can do for something like this. But like that's the gray and you can see how when it crosses over the green you can go lighter to get a see-through effect. And then if you do darker it'll cover it up. But you still get the hint of it through which is the beauty of something like this. So I am super excited for these with the different kinds of things you can do. The type of paper that you work on is going to matter a lot. The color of the paper, I mean, this is all white watercolor paper I'm working on, but you can imagine if you're going in as a black watercolor paper or, you know, a sepia tone or something like that, that you can create all sorts of different effects. But in general, I am really a fan of the King Art. Um, they are a high quality graphic tool to use. And it's worth adding to the different types of things that you work with because, you know, sometimes I want to work with watercolors and sometimes I want to work with crayons and sometimes I want to work with pen and ink. But this is its own entity with the smoothness of us and the thickness and richness of the color. It's definitely worth having as part of your watercolor and art creation set. Let me know if you have any questions.